Hello everybody and welcome to progress video episode number three. I didn't have a good intro to the video, I just kind of jumped right into it. So I kind of made one at the end of the video. Um, like this, you, this, I didn't have this recorded during all my clips, but now I have it recorded. And uh, there's a reason you can't see my inventory right now, because we made a lot of progress. So hope you enjoy this episode. Thank you for watching. Alrighty, we finished the night sword quest. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get our sword, our blue right sword. Um, let's see here. About that sword. Right here, mate. Thank you very much. I'm going to drop this sword now. Mr. Thurgo, I seem to have misplaced my sword. Um, there you go. Go back. I, I found that this quest is so much easier with teleports. Like just walking around this is so bad. But yeah. So actually, that was not the end of the quest. The end of the quest, I think, is when we talked to the squire. So kind of wasted a little bit of time over there. But that's okay. We'll get it. It's only one quest point. But the big the big thing about this is I get so much smithing XP. And I like to balance my mining and smithing. So let's see how much 12,725 smithing XP. We're now at level 30 smithing. That's pretty insane. And now we can do steel stuff. So now level 18 mining, level 30 smithing. That's what I like to see. Oh, and my magic level is 50. So that's something you don't know. Well, now you do believe this is the end of the quest so we've got to put this guy's head back on quick and oh there's a cutscene <sighs> didn't know there was a cutscene yeah just go just just leave and give me my give me my quest point that's all I'm here for Are you just go in the water I know like ghosts can't drown or nothing but anyway one quest point and 1125 prayer XP that should level me up at least one I believe yep level 36 prayer now I was at level 35 before so if you missed last episode I did do quite a lot of uh, prayer training on a, on a gilded altar so there's that quest done we now have a total of 36 quest points uh, I think I'm gonna just knock out the rest of these uh, free-to-play quests um, and then once the free-to-play quests are done uh, I'll probably work on my defense a little bit uh, maybe maybe my attack will get it to 40 and then I'll get my defense to 40 and then we'll do Dragon Slayer. And with that, we'll be able to wield, uh, wear the rune plate body. Sheep Shear quest. Um, just about complete. So, that, that should be 20. There we go. Not really anything uh, specific. Just one quest point and some XP. Not, not good XP because, you know, I've already gone past that point, but... Um, next quest. Yet another quick quest right out the way. Give the notes to this guy, and we should be getting the quest complete message here really quick. I don't really care what you have to say. Just hurry up and... Okay, skip, skip, skip. There we go. One quest point. Uh, I can now do the runecrafting skill, and we get a, a talisman. Someone explained to me why I'm not getting XP drops or pretty much any XP for killing this guy. Look, I just hit a three. I didn't get any XP, and then I get one XP randomly, and I don't know if I even hit anything that turn. So I just hit a five and no XP drop. <sighs> anyway, it's pretty obvious what quest we're doing. We are doing um, Vampire Slayer, so I'm really hoping, yep, I stab him automatically and quest complete. 4k attack XP, which is what I like to see, and 3 quest points. So we level up attack? Yep, we're now level 33 attack. I don't remember what we were at before, but yeah, that's good. For kids, when the witch tells you to drink from the cauldron, might not be the best of ideas to do it. But there we go, another quest out the way, which is potion. For those of you who have actually read the, the, the plays on Romeo and Juliet, this... Uh, is actually pretty accurate with like the characters um, especially I was blown away by uh, the Friar Lawrence who's actually the Father Lawrence would be a priest in Varrock and anyway except for the ending 
he didn't want to go after Juliet. He went after his her cousin, his sly dog. Anyway, five quest points. That's a lot of quest points just for just for that. And we are two quests away. Shield of Arrow and Dragon Slayer. Two quests away from finishing all the free quests. So, oh, I don't know which one I want to do now. I always remember this quest being so much harder than it was, but... I was lucky enough to find someone uh, to help me with the uh, the quest, just as I was just passing along, um, you know. But uh, surprisingly, only one quest point. Uh, I thought there'd be a lot more for this this um, this quest. Anyway, made a friend, which I'm now going to delete because I'm never going to talk to you again. And now we have done all the quests, free to play quests, except for Dragon Slayer. Um, well, I got 32 quest points, so we can do it. Let's see what we uh, actually end up doing. Come on, baby, get those uh, get those orbs in that tree. I don't know, come on. What do I got to do, right? I got, this is it. This is the end of the quest. There we go. So, it turns out it didn't do, uh, what's it called, Dragon Slayer. But we did the Tree Gnome Village quest to get us 11,000 attack XP and the Gnome Amulet of Protection. Uh, I don't really know what the Gnome Amulet of Protection does. I'm sure it'll play a part later down the line. But with my calculations are correct, this should put us at level 38 attack. Yes, it does. Level 38 attack. Great. Now, I think I'm going to do another troll. Uh, not troll. Uh, another gnome quest. And that'll put me over 40 attack. So I'll be able to wield rune. So just got level 25 agility so now I can actually do that uh, I think it's the uh, grand tree quest for the gnome stronghold tr trilogy something like that I don't know but I need to know if you guys like the uh, the video setup way it is like full screen or if you like it like this but obviously zoomed in a lot um, so it's all close and comfortable. Uh, let me give you an example really quick. So first, obviously, we have... What did I do? Okay. First, obviously, we have it like this, just like this on the screen. Or maybe you like it a little closer like so. But for now, I'm going to leave it at the full screen one. And you guys can tell me in the comments which one you like and which one you don't like. All that stuff. And let's see if I can go get a quest done tricky at times but not that bad like the demon I didn't even need my prayer points I just safe spotted him the whole time so I don't know what everyone's problem is with this anyway after we skip through this dialogue I think we'll be getting quite a bit of attack XP to push us in front of 40 attack so let's whoa that's a big XP drop uh, along with um 2,000 magic and 7,900 agility XP and 5 quest points. So here we go. 31 agility. 42 attack. So now we can wield rune weapons. Um, another thing I wanted to point out. I have 55 quest points on this account. So in 5 days, I've got more quest points than I have on my main account on RuneScape 3 in an entire year. That's insane. Now, I'm not sure if I should do Monkey Madness right now. Or if I should do something else. You know, I'm feeling like Monkey Madness would be the way to go right now. But I have done a lot of quests just this episode. I think that's like the only thing we've done is quests this episode. Um, and I, I don't really want it to be just quests. But we might just have to go knock out the, the last uh, gnome quest. So... This is it. I don't care how long this takes. I'm going to record the whole thing. Alright, let's go, baby. Elvard, time to die. Oh, boy. I'm getting hit. I'm not hitting anything. Okay, that's a good hit. Oh, shit. Hit the fucker. Wow, I'm not going to be able to kill it. 
I'm not going to be able to. This is tragic. Absolutely tragic. Seven, come on, baby. Come on, get some XP drops. No way. These are good spells, and I'm splashing. Elvarg is not the one you want to splash on. Splash on fucking rats. Oh, boy. I have to teleport out. I have to teleport out. I'm splashing way too much. I need to get, like, potions and stuff. There's no way I can finish this fight. There's no fucking way I can... No, stop splashing. What the hell? That's my, my what the hell character. I don't even know. I don't even know. My character won't stop splashing, motherfucker. All that work. All that work. And now I just gotta... Just gotta teleport away. Motherfucker. It was less than a second for you, but... For me, I had to go fix the damn ship. There we go. I've drank my potion. I have my anti-dragon shield on. Can I... Hop over this wall, please? Okay. Here we go. Round two. Elvar, you win round one. Round two's on me. Alright, here we go. Splash. Splash. Alright, 36. Oh, she's still at half health. So, holy crap. We're coming out the way. We're moving. We're moving, boys. We don't want any of that melee. Splash. Splash. Again. Why don't you just splash the whole time? Yeah, this is great XP you're getting. This, this is the reason why we came. We came for XP. We didn't, we didn't want to actually kill it. We just want the XP from, from splashing on Elvarg, right? 12. That's a good hit. Can we keep that up? Alright, decent. I'll take a 4 every time. I'll take a 4 every time. Thank you. Another 4? Great. Nope. Splashing. He hit a fucking 10. And then an 8. I have to teleport out again. I have to. Okay, a 12. We can do this, boys. I got good food. I got monkfish. Now, if, my <clears throat> if you can stop splashing, I might be able to finish the kill. I drank my potion. What more do you want? There we go. Did I kill it? Aha. I did. Still used a lot of food. Give me that head, mate. Rip it off. Ah, oh, fuck yeah. Ugh. All right. Now we got to go back to uh, Edgeville. Let's just finish this quest. Let's just finish it. Oziak, I got your fucking dragon head. It only took me two tries. Here, take it. Yes, I have. Blah, blah, blah. It's pissing me off. There. There. Strength XP and defense XP. The defense XP is what I wanted, along with two quest points. Uh, thank you. Can I get the screen, please? Can I get the beautiful quest complete screen? 44 strength, 38 defense. Pretty close to 40. Are we not going to see the screen, or, or do we already see it? I don't actually remember. But there we go. Look at this. All the free-to-play quests are done. Done diddly done holy crap this has been one full episode of nothing but questing and I'm not sure how to feel about that um you know what just so that the just so the episode is not just questing let's get some slayer tasks and let's end off with a couple slayer tasks that sound good we can even train defense so let's go get a Slayer task right now. I may have forgot to record what the uh, actual assignment was, but as you can see, it was cockatrice, cockatrices. But anyway, while we're here, 39 defense, 40 defense. Donna, Donna, Donna. Alrighty, with that hit, we get 30 Slayer, and we have now finished our Slayer task. That's our fifth Slayer task in a row, and we received four points. So we'll return to a Slayer Master. My 
think I look pretty snazzy walking down here in my full rune, my rune scimitar. Anyway, alright Vanica, what do we got today? Hill Giants, hell yeah, that's some great XP. Sweet. So, um, uh, we ended last episode right here. Let's end this episode right here. I know we only did one Slayer task, but promise me next episode we will be doing lots of Slayer. Uh, until we actually get, uh, level, like, 60 attack or something. Maybe even, uh, close to that a strength in, uh, defense. And then we'll do some more quests next episode if we get that far. Uh, and by that far, I mean get to the 60 so I could do like Lost City for for perhaps uh, be able to wield the Dragon Scimitar or Dragon Dagger or something like that. But that'll be it. Thank you for watching this episode. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, it means a lot to me that you'd watch. Go ahead and like the video if you enjoyed it. Comment if uh, any feedback you have and subscribe if you want to see more. I don't want you to miss any further episodes. So thank you all very much for watching. Sam out. Hello everybody and welcome to Progress Video episode number three. I didn't have a good intro to the video. I just kind of jumped right into it. So I kind of made one at the end of the video. Um, like this, you, this I didn't have this recorded during all my clips. But now I have it recorded, and uh, there's a reason you can't see my inventory right now, because we made a lot of progress. So, hope you enjoy this episode. Thank you for watching.